Today on Fresh Vintage Garage, we have ourselves the X-Tool Compass Master. What is the Compass Master and what does this thing do? We're going to dig into the software and find out together right now. So before we plug this guy in, we actually just wanted to mention that this is a J2534 box. And I call that out because it obviously has a OBD2 connector. So it is the Bluetooth dongle for the Compass Master. But on the regular Compass, this is just a Bluetooth dongle. It is not an actual programmer box. But that being said, we're going to plug in and dive into the software next. So taking a look at the home screen, there's a lot going on here, and we're going to start left and work our way right. Stick around later in the video for the unboxing, and we're going to look at the special functions and a whole bunch of other stuff. We do have the ignition on in our 2016 Subaru Forester, and pay no attention to that error message it just uh, had. It, it does that, and then it goes right into topology. And we'll note that on newer cars, this goes pretty quick. You can see how fast it's going versus say I have a 2000 Cherokee or a 2005 Honda CRV, it's much, much slower. But that speaks to the uh, computers in the car than anything else. Uh, 10 inch screen on this guy, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of memory, and boom, it's done already. Let's go to data trouble code report here. There we go. And sure, we'll save a report. And I'm touching the screen twice. Whoops, let's actually go to data trouble code list. And just to show you, before we jump in there, you can see the little dots on the screen moving. This is actually a visual representation. If we wanted to click on list, get the same data, just you know, more traditional what you've seen in the scan tool in the last five, 10 years. So let's click on data trouble code list. So this is a breakdown of everything coming out of the car right now. And all it did is just did a top to bottom. It looked for every single computer on the wiring harness in the car. And obviously your car may vary. We were talking about this off camera. We have a 2020 Outback that has like double the size of this topology tree, so to speak. But let's go into any one of these. Let me click on BIU here. And so I just clicked on BIU with the number four on the screen. I'm going to diagnose and let's dig into this for the body control. Let's read data trouble codes. And so this is very, very similar to the Prodigy video. This is almost like a I would say a little brother because this thing's still very much a beast of a scan tool in itself but the prodigy is just a little bit bigger everything a uh, larger screen a little bit you know more everything as far as in-depth capability if you haven't seen our video definitely go check that out on our channel let's go to live data here and let's see what we get in so this is numbered on the left hand side of the screen you can see let's i'm guessing we're going to top out at like 50 or something but oh we're going to keep going okay so there's a lot going on here and actually, if you go to the bottom, there's zero of 131. So let's select a few of these. I just want to see if we can. I just want to see if we can graph any of this in here. Let's do custom. Okay, so I'm going to turn the car on. And I will say I grabbed some oddball stuff here, but left the turn signal input. So let me put the turn signal on. See what happens. Okay, so that's on. And we can actually do a graph. So there's our graph. And you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, left turn signal input is off and on. It doesn't actually graph properly, but let me go back in and I'll get a little bit different data that we can try here. So this is clearly operator error on my part. I'm like, where's the throttle? Where's the temperature? Where's the coolant temp? Where's all the stuff? And we filtered down to the body control module. so. Clearly operator error on my part. Let me get back out. We're going to go to EGI here. So I'm going to click on EGI. Now, full disclosure, the check engine light's not on in this guy, in the uh, Forester here. But we're going to go in here anyway. We want to see the live data. The car still is running. So let's come in here. Now we're seeing all the data that you're used to seeing when you want to find quote unquote live data in a scan tool. And this has even more information. Look, 181 on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. So there's a ton of stuff going on in here. And I'm just going to grab some random stuff. I'm just going to come in here and grab this, grab that. Now I want to hit custom. And my fingers are a little dry. So now we have a custom filtered down list. If you're trying to chase that random electrical gremlin or maybe some kind of sensor start and act up but not 100% of the time, uh, I'm going to hit chart. And let's look at the different charts here and let's see what we get. Okay, so this is a live display. Let me hit the gas. Okay, so very, very sensitive. As soon as I touch that gas pedal, it's there. Let me hit graph. Same thing. And 2D graph, I believe this is, yeah, this is combined. So very, very nice to see the Compass Master giving you this level of, just really get into the finite details of the data as it's coming out of the car. 
we are back at the main topology screen and we just wanted to show you a few different things you can access and touch inside uh, the actual actuation test. What I mean is we were just in looking at the actuation test here. This is engine control, so I just want to do actuation test. You can see everything that's available in here. So back at the main topology tree here, just wanted to shout out the actual uh, special functions and actuation tests. This whole tree there, I call it a Christmas tree, this will change vehicle to vehicle. If we had our 2020 Outback here, like I said earlier in the video, it would be double the size. And it changes based on like limited versus base model and what your vehicle is equipped with. So we're not gonna click all these. We just wanna show you what's in the engine one as far as actuation tests. So right over here, actuation tests. And you can see just for the engine, the amount of different stuff in here. I mean, we're not gonna go in here and touch anything and actually try to action any items with the Compass Master, but just wanted to give a shout out to how much stuff you can do in here. And while I back out to the main screen, because there's a whole lot more we want to show you, this scan tool, you can find the Compass and the Compass Master on scantooldepot.com. You'll see it on the screen here as a QR code. If you're watching this on your TV, grab your phone. I know it's sitting right next to you. Just look at that uh, QR code to take you right to our website, Scan Tool Depot. Let's dive into the diagnostics. We just got out of the diagnostics. We're gonna go right back in there because there's a demo mode. There's an OBD2 mode and a Tesla mode. Yes, this will scan Teslas. That's what some of the connectors, will, you'll see later in the video, stick around for the unboxing. You'll see the actual, some of the connectors that the uh, Teslas use. But we're gonna click on OBD2 here because we don't have a Tesla to test today. Looking at the different options, the actual, um, what do you call them here? The different protocols, sorry, I couldn't think of it. Those are global protocols. Obviously, we're recording this video for the US and North America, but this will auto scan and find the right protocol. And then we go right into this is the express checkout, so to speak, to get you to code reading faster. Now, full disclosure, the check engine light's not on in our Forester, but this is where if you had actual codes, you could see them here. And also you can get into our live data that we looked at earlier. Let's see what the number is that comes up here. So this says 44. So it's kind of fascinating that in the OBD2 section, you can only see 44, but when we were in the deeper diagnostics, we had up to 181. So food for thought as far as the depth and capability of the Compass Master, really, really solid here so far. Let me go all the way back out and just a touch on the top here, my vehicles, if you wanted to save a vehicle and there's Asian market, American market, and the list goes on. So very much a global tool. And if we wanted to, I'm assuming if I click the VIN here, yeah, auto scan. We're just going to go right into a VIN scan. And it's basically doing the same thing here. There's that. And we're going right back into topology. So we're not going to finish this. We just wanted to show you what that did. Confirm to exit. And we do not want to save this. There we go. Let's go back to the home screen. Special functions. Let's take a look. We were counting off camera. We'll count them on camera here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Yeah, there's 51 service reset functions in here. Count them with us. Uh, there's fuel pump priming, RPS calibration, rain light sensor. So, I mean, this is not just your oil light reset, electronic parking brake. I mean, that stuff's in here, but you have everything from injector coating to ADOS to uh, parking brake reset to transmission oil reset, VIN right. I've never actually seen that one before. I'm not even 100% sure what that, what that means, other than maybe you're programming a computer or something like that. But SRS, so almost everything you could think of as a shop owner or a garage, someone who's running a, gra a garage, if you need to turn base faster, this stuff can help you dig in and get the job done and get the, the actual car out of your shop back into the customer's hands faster. Uh, let's look at reports. So I think we saved a report. I thought we did. I guess we didn't. So we didn't. Oh, we did right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the report. Uh, just thinking about those shop owner, garage owner. If you want to hand a customer, maybe send them an email. Say, hey, your, uh, your car's been scanned. Here's some of the stuff we found. Here's a quote estimate on what it might take to fix it. And let's go back to updates. No one ever wants to look at updates. We'll just look at that real quick. If you want to do software updates here, we updated the software. It's really nice because this thing actually has, let me just show you the top of the screen here. It does have Wi-Fi there. You saw it on the, uh, the left hand, left center there of the screen. We just hit update all and walked away for a while while we did some other uh, YouTube stuff. More is just like it sounds, your profile, VCI management. There is an endoscope, but we do not have, you can see I'm pushing it. It's being installed, but we actually don't have the endoscope, so we're not going to finish that installation. 
Taking a look at the Xtool here, this is really just a browser, and all this does is brings up a Chrome window so you can go to Xtool's website, or you can hop onto YouTube here and watch uh, Fresh Vintage Garage videos. Definitely make sure you subscribe. We really, really appreciate it. Let me jump back to the screen we were just in, and there is a remote control here. Stick around. I'm going to get to the Solera and the Identifix right like, in, in mere moments. Uh, remote control is just like it sounds if you want to let Xtool get into the back side of the scan tool. Maybe it's doing something funky. You don't understand what it's doing, but this will allow them to get in and actually see what's going on to help you diagnose it. Settings is where the settings are at. And I'm just going to do a quick swipe left, quick swipe right, right. So there's nothing else on this screen. Let's talk about Solera Identifix. I'm going to click the button and you're going to see what happens here. This product comes with one year usage rights for Identifix Direct Hit. Now, in this conversation, this doesn't come with Identifix directly out of the box. I mention that because if I click continue, it says this device does not have permission, da, 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 please contact the dealer. So you're getting this message because Identifix does not come with the Compass and Compass Master. It does, however, come with the Prodigy. And if you haven't seen our Prodigy video, definitely check it out on our channel, Fresh Vintage Garage. Uh, that thing is a really, really beast, like beastly of a scan tool, even more beastly than a Compass Master. But all that to say, if you do want to purchase Identifix, and this is not like watered down Identifix, this is the full blown, full access Identifix. You can get a year of it for $1,500, but you have to reach out to the reason it says please contact the dealer. You have to reach out to X Tool directly to get that pricing because it's typically a $3,000 per year kind of package, but Xtool can actually get that for you for $1,500. That they, they did confirm that with us in chatting with them about this scan tool. So before we jump downstairs and do the unboxing, we wanted to shout out just one more time on this Identifix. We did mention 1500 bucks to get that little button to work, but we're only going to mention it for the umpteen time in our video here. Go check out the Prodigy that's over here that we don't have with us today because to get into this kind of price point conversation, that extra $1,500 really isn't that much more to consider. I know that sounds crazy to say that, but when you start thinking about what Identifix gives you, color-coded di diagrams, labor times, TSBs. Did I mention labor times? A whole bunch of other data, tons of data in there. And I'm going to mention labor times one more time. To jump from this into the Prodigy, go check that out on our channel, Fresh Vintage Garage, because if you're a shop owner or garage owner and you're thinking about spending money at this point, you want to get that button to work, you're almost to the Prodigy. So that's why we mentioned, go check out that video on our channel, Fresh Vintage Garage. With that, wanted to shout out, I'm just going to set that very nicely there. We have the J2534 box. We just want to shout this out because when you buy this, this isn't like you're done. You, you can just start programming 100 computers a month or anything. You still need subscriptions with like Ford, with Chevy, with Chrysler. Granted, this does have FCA Auto Auth as an example. You can use this on newer Chryslers, but putting this in your hands and plugging it into the actual car doesn't mean you can automatically start programming ECUs and computers and other modules in the car. You definitely need to work on those subscriptions if you don't already have them with Ford and the rest of them and OEMs and whatnot. One more thing I wanted to shout out before we go downstairs and do the unboxing is the battery size on this thing. And this is for all those nitpickers who say we never nitpick scan tools in our videos. Uh, we have uh, three different batteries that I've found. We have a 9600 milliamp hour battery I found in one of the screenshots here. I found a 6400 milliamp hour. You really can't see it, but we'll throw a screenshot on the screen here. And I also found right on their box 12,800 milliamp hour. So we're going to reach out to Xtool, and you should see in the video right here, it should pop up on the screen somewhere with the final actual battery uh, milliamp hours. But that being said, we're going to jump downstairs and actually show you what this looks like when you unbox it. Let's go do that right now. Now that you've seen the Compass Master in action, we actually wanted to do an unboxing with you. And when I say unboxing, technically we partially unboxed it already, but that's the box you get when you actually buy one. We're going to open this up and show you what this looks like when it comes out of the box. And a big shout out to Xtool for sending us over, sponsoring the video. really appreciate it. We also appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe and help us build Fresh Vintage Garage. We do this for you. That being said, we have a little bit of everything here. We have the programmer box right here. Little guy, I've already seen it in the video. And then we have the scan tool here. I want to show you that in a second, but I'm going to flip this up, turn it this way, and hold it so it doesn't fall on the floor. Because in here are not just OBD1 connectors, there's a little bit of everything. I think we were looking earlier, this is a Suzuki, if I remember correctly. Yes, yeah, Suzuki. And let's see what this one is here. This is a, oops, as I drop it. This is a BMW-20. So you get a lot of OBD1 connectivity here. So if you have a shop that touches a lot of older cars and as they make a mess, a bunch of odds and ends, there's a uh, charger here. And then this set, I think it said universal minus three or dash three on a gas. So 
a lot of different cables. And if you have a specific question about what cable comes with the Compass Master here, definitely reach out to us, shoot us a comment or send us an email. We can you know, dig in and find out with Xtool if your specific, your make a model or your situation for scanning and diagnostics applies with the, uh, the actual connectors here. I'm gonna close this and then we'll go right into the star of the show. Obviously there's paperwork, no one ever reads, but make sure you read it because your serial number and registration stuff's in there. And here's the X-Tool, you've already seen it. I mean, taking a look at it, obviously it's got a camera, kickstand. You know, it's a, it's a really, really nice scan tool. X-Tool is upping their game. Uh, if you're still watching this point in the video, don't take them lightly. We've seen other scan tool vendors doing exactly what they're doing now, but they did it five years ago. And they are the big name brands that you have heard of and you've seen in different places, you've seen on Amazon, you've seen in marketing and stuff. But all that to say, these guys are doing all the right things. And the more we touch their products, the more we're impressed from the build quality to the software, to the service after the sale. When you reach out to these guys, they respond. It's not like, hey, three weeks goes by and no one ever responds. But with that, we appreciate you watching. I'm going to go ahead and pack all this back up. But we appreciate you watching. If you like scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like keeping your cars certified fresh and on the road, fresh finished garage your channel, please like and subscribe. And hey, before you go, if you haven't seen our X Tool Prodigy video, that link should pop up right here over my shoulder. Be sure to check that out because it's like the bigger brother of the Compass Master. With that, we appreciate you watching. Have a good one.